So just an update on BFR itself. So the design, uh, the, the production design of BFR is different in some important ways from the, what I presented about a year ago. Um, overall, it is 118 meters long. Uh, the payload is still is similar. It's about 100 uh, metric tons. Uh, that's 100 metric tons to, well, actually, technically 100 metric tons to all the way to Mars because of orbital, uh, orbital refueling or orbital, orbital retanking. So we, we've um, increased the payload section to be over 1,000 cubic meters. I think it'll probably end up being probably so something around 1,100 cubic meters. <clears throat> there are um, forward actuated fins and rear actuated fins. The, so there's the two forward actuated flaps, and then there are two rear actuated wings or fins or flaps, depending on what they're not exactly comparable to anything else out there. Um, but you, you kind of want you want, kind of want four control surfaces to to be able to control the vehicle through a wide range of atmospheric densities and and velocities. So the it, the, the way it operates is kind of more like a skydiver than a, than an aircraft. Uh, <laughs> so. You can see it's basically coming in, if, if this is the Earth, if this stage is the Earth, it's coming in like that. And, and it's just using its entire body to brake. And, and it's, it's, it sort of goes like that and slows down, and, it, and then it falls like a skydiver. And, and then it rights itself, um, fires the engine, and lands on the fins. I mean, this will look really epic in person. And again, it looks like guaranteed to be exciting. Then you can see it's sort of falling, falling body first for quite a while. And it's really quite, quite gentle. You're just sort of falling at terminal velocity for, for quite a long time. Very gentle forward, just sort of like closing down. And then it rights itself at the end, fires the engine and lands. It's, it's very counterintuitive. It's not like anything that people are familiar with. It's not like an airplane. Or, yeah. And then obviously, if you're landing on the moon, um, you don't need any aerodynamic surfaces at all. Um, because you just, there's no, there's no air. Um, you just need thrust. Next, the next steps with for BFR, oh, we are going to build it, or we are building it. Uh, this is a picture of the um, main cylinder section of, of BFR. So BFR is nine meters in diameter. It's really quite enormous. You can, that you can get a sense of scale. Like that is the that's two scale. That gives you a sense of, of the size of the vehicle. Quite enormous. Um, but we are, um, we are already building it. So we've built the first cylinder section. So that's the first actual cylinder section of the BFR prototype. And we'll be building the, the domes um, and the, the engine section soon. And then this is the Raptor engine. So this is the Raptor engine that will, will power BFR, both the, uh, the ship and the booster. It's the same engine. And this is a, a, approximately a 200-ton thrust engine uh, that's uh, aiming for a, uh, roughly a 300 bar or 300 atmosphere chamber pressure. Um, and depending upon if, if you have it at a high expansion ratio has the potential to be to have an, a specific impulse above 380. Um, but it's a, and it's a stage combustion, full flow, uh, gas gas, for those who are interested in technical details. Um, oh, yeah, so this is the tra trajectory. So we'll, yeah, take off, uh, have booster separation, 
go into parking orbits, do a translunar injection, uh, fly around the moon, uh, and then come back and land. Yeah. That should take a few, you know, basically about four or five days. And um, it'd be very exciting. Very exciting indeed. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do a bunch of test launches uh, w without any people on board before having people on board, to be clear. Uh, we will, that's, it's going to be very important to test this vehicle thoroughly before putting anyone on, on board. That's, that's where I'd like to introduce uh, the, the first uh, paying customer of BFR. Thank you, Eva. Thank you, everyone. Wow. I am from Japan. My name is Yusaku Maezawa. You can call me MZ, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you.